Good morning my loves and welcome back to a new vlog. Um, it's Thursday today and I arrived in Berlin yesterday. Since I'm based in Europe, we hardly ever get layovers in Europe so I'm very very happy and excited to be here. Um, we have the full day before we go to Miami tomorrow so we're gonna go into the city and enjoy. I'm also wearing this Baku jacket that I love and sorry about the bad lighting this um cos long sleeve top and I'm hoping I'm going to be warm enough and my new Gucci sunglasses which we bought in Bangkok last week I think they're so so cool still I'm very happy with the purchase and then some white jeans and my Bottega Mini Jody is always and then again my added is sandals it's great to have just some trainers that always look good and are rather comfortable although I will say I bought some gazelles last year because I couldn't get my hands on sandals um, in grey which I love and have worn around like walking in New York for 28,000 steps a day and they're super comfortable these however the sandals I do get blisters from Cardigan from oh, from Lulu Studio is so cute, and this dress I've had my eyes on for quite a while. I just don't know how often I'd wear it, so I think it's very cute, like a mini knit dress. These are the Prada sunglasses I talked about in my last vlog, which I've been wanting for a while. In this color, still think they're very cute. Okay, you guys, I'm back at the hotel. It's eight o'clock almost, and we've had a long day. We stayed inside of Cordova most of the time just because the rain was quite bad. I was hoping we could go for like long walks in the park, have a lovely day, sit outside at a cafe maybe, but that didn't happen. So we stayed inside the department store most of the day and did a bit of shopping. I got my Charlotte Tilbury powder I've been missing and I picked up some socks of Primark. Um, which is a must always whenever I'm near a Primark since we don't have one in Norway. But yeah, we didn't do too much. We had a lovely lunch at an Italian place nearby, um, which I wasn't expecting much of, but it was actually surprisingly good. So yeah, I'm going to change into some comfy clothes and I'm going to go downstairs and have dinner or even maybe order room service and watch a movie or something like that. And I'll pick you back up again tomorrow evening when I'm in Miami. just arrived in Miami it's Friday night um, around six o'clock seven o'clock seven o'clock um, which means it's past midnight in Europe and another six hours ahead in Bangkok where I've spent a lot of time lately so body clock's a bit confused but we're here um, I'm gonna try to have some dinner and I'm also gonna go first of all we're gonna go to the shop so I'm gonna meet my friend in a sec and we're gonna buy some breakfast food look at that view how gorgeous is this oh the focus is not great but sun setting we're gonna go to Publix which is nearby and get some food I need some milk and some berries for my cereal tomorrow morning stunning here so so pretty so yeah, sorry, lost you again. Um, we're at the beach, right next to our hotel. We're gonna walk to the shop. And I was saying sorry if I don't look super presentable, but it's been a 10 hour flight and I'm kind of tired, so. But this is real life, all my real life, and I want to show you all aspects of it, even when I look a bit sleepy, so. <laughs> Thank you. 
found some strawberries, wanted fresh ones, but these were the ones they had left, which were already cut, so they're probably more expensive, but you know, that's just life. Okay, back from the shop. I got some milk for my cereal. Some freshly cut strawberries. Um, they didn't have any, just normal strawberries, so got what they had and a little yogurt, vanilla yogurt, van vanilla Greek yogurt actually. Um, I really want to be a yogurt person. I'm not at the moment, but I'm trying to learn to like it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Sound is cold now. Mm -hmm. I just finished my breakfast I decided I needed to rest a bit before I train or not rest but let my food sink a bit before I went to the gym so I decided I would go for a little walk first instead and walk down the other way than we went yesterday evening I've never been down this way before I've only been to this hotel twice so I'm getting to know the area made myself another cup of tea took about 15 minutes to get the water boiled but it's worth it um yeah. i'm by the way wearing the aloe yoga top and shorts i got when we were in bangkok last week and this t-shirt i'm gonna be honest with you i've worn it more than once on this layover not for a full day of time though it changed a lot um but it's the most comfortable sports top I've ever worn. It's the softest thing ever and I need about a hundred more of them, I think. So, link that down below. It's so, so comfortable to wear. Anyway, I'm gonna pop on a pop. I'm gonna pop on a podcast and go for a little walk. This place, honestly, I had to go just down to the beach just to see it. Stunning as this. Okay, I am leaving the beach walk as I've walked a lot, lot further than I had planned on, but I'm now actually very close to um, Soho House, which has a gym, which is probably way better than the one at my hotel. So I'm going to see if I can go to the gym there and then walk back up again, which is gonna be another 40 minutes, but worth it. It's been a lovely walk, it's very hot, but I'm getting my steps in. My coach will be proud of me. And then I'll probably be in time for lunch when I get back to the hotel and can lie at the beach for the rest of the day. I think I can almost spot our hotel soon. So the walk wasn't that far, but I've probably got my 10,000 steps in today very hot and sweaty looking forward to a shower and hoping the others are already already at the beach so i can just go hang out i've just arrived back at the hotel i'm gonna order some uber eats for lunch and dinner just so i have my food ready to go can take a while to get stuff delivered here so it's just good to do it all at once and i'm getting hungry for lunch since i've already done so much today it's been a long day i've been up since six and it's almost 12 so Gonna do that, have a shower, and then go lie on the beach for the rest of the day.
Okay, hello again. It's been a few hours. Plans have changed a few times. So we're here for another night. We're checking out of this hotel and going to another one a little later on. So I have packed my bags and changed into a dress and I'm going downstairs to meet the others. from the room. I wish I could stay here another 10, 15, 30 minutes to see it go down fully but I've got to get downstairs in a few minutes so this is it. Good morning again. It's now Sunday. We're still here. Um, we're going home tomorrow so we're gonna just go explore Miami a bit. So we're going to Havana uh, to have lunch or drinks or I don't know. That's the plan anyway. I've been by the pool this morning and I've also been to the gym. So I just got ready to go out. I'm gonna leave in just a second. Hey guys, um, we are now lunch earlier and I've now been to Sephora so I thought I'd show you what I got I have a necessaire gift set with little minis that I want to take on a layover or on my layovers I have this which Friar Cullen has been talking about forever I had one of these last year it's the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray I bought one big and one small one for traveling then I bought this little Hawaii um, leave-in conditioner for layovers so I don't have to bring a large one with me. A new Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter for travelling. The Laneige overnight sleeping, lip sleeping mask in vanilla which I've been trying to find for ages and just a new, new concealer, my favourite from NARS. That's it. Um, I'm on my hunt, or on a hunt for the New Face mini machine. I tried Saks Fifth Avenue, but they didn't have it. I tried Sephora, they didn't have it. They don't often have it at home, and I think it's also cheaper here. So I'm gonna go looking for that while the others are at Zara. But I thought I'd just quickly pick you up and update you. another beautiful day here I've just sat outside or not outside but with my round door open getting ready and it felt like I was on summer holiday getting ready after a full day at the beach um, I've just packed my bags I've ordered some Uber Eats an hour ago which is about to arrive hopefully I ordered crepes and Nutella so I'm excited uh, I thought I'd let myself have a really good breakfast since I had to order in since I've finished my oatmeal by now and um, yeah, just finished packing and we're leaving in about an hour, so I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast by the pool, I think. Also, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, or whatever it co it's called, that I bought yesterday in the vanilla smell. I've been waiting to buy it because I don't love, like, berry taste and stuff on lip products. Um, not a fan. But I finally found the vanilla one and the product is amazing. I highly recommend it. So moisturising. I mean, I haven't worn it more than an hour, but... I think it looks very good on the lips in daytime as well, so I'm probably gonna buy a few pots more next time I find them so I can have them, like one at home, one in my bag, etc. My order finally arrived. I've made my own tea. And I got a smoothie as well. Let's try. Very nice and fresh. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast now and do the last of the packing before we leave. And I'll see you in the next one. 
I've had so much fun filming this and I hope you like it. So please do like and subscribe if you want to see more videos.